Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Saad and you're watching the Arsenal Transfer Show on the Football Corner. Let's get into this because there's so much that's happened over the last 24 hours. <laughs> So guys, welcome back to the channel. First of all, if you're new, make sure to like, share and subscribe. Let me know down below what your thoughts are on this transfer window. So far, so much has happened. Let's get to the breaking news, which is Declan Rice has been agreed. Looks like he's coming to the club. And listen, I'm so relieved. We finally got it done. It was a staggering 100 mil solid fee plus 5 million in add-ons coming up to 105 million which i believe is the british record for um, an english player in the transfer transfer in the transfer windows and yeah listen i'm so gassed i'm so happy um the fee is fully agreed um obviously a lot happened since we last spoke about declan rice um firstly man city bid 80 plus 10 which was 90 million basically what we bid previously um but they just put 80 million up as a solid fee and then 10 million in add-ons obviously we done the 75 plus 15 now they done the 80 plus 10 that was rejected very quickly by west ham um they weren't having that obviously they wanted the 100 mil fee and it looked like we they were just waiting on Arsenal uh, to make the bid. Uh, now, Man City were in the running. Um, and then last night, looks like Arsenal finally made their bid of 105 million. Now, 105 million, that bid got made and everybody was like, okay, is City going to... Is City gonna come in with a rival bid? Uh, maybe 105, 110 mil. A started bidding wall like West Ham wanted, but it looks like we came in with that 105 mil bid, and that blew Man City out of the water. Um, they decided not to carry on. They actually pulled out of the race for Declan Rice, and now the fee has been agreed with West Ham. So the fee is agreed with West Ham. And it looks like this is a done deal. Done deal. Declan Rice is going to be an Arsenal player. And I cannot wait. Him working with Arteta. Um, hopefully improving his attacking attributes. As well as his defensive attributes. Making him a more complete midfielder. I cannot wait to see what he does when he comes to the Emirates. Because it is going to be insane. Listen. Um, a lot of people say is he overpriced. Is he um, overhyped. Uh, is he really that good now listen overpriced yes maybe okay I, I think they're touted the fee that was touted before with West Ham was 80 million 70 80 million but when he won that European Conference League trophy the fee just went up at like 30 40 million so listen as we saw before the first fee that was projected by West Ham was a staggering 120 million is what they wanted now that fee has gone down from 120 to 105 um, and um, a bid has finally been agreed by West Ham for the player at 105 million. Now only time will tell what happens in the near future with Declan Rice but like I said before I'm so happy that we got this deal over the line and I cannot wait to see him get started at the Emirates. Now getting on to transfer number two which is another bit of breaking news. Kai Havertz has just been announced. Number 29 will be here at the Emirates next season. And um, listen, like I said before, I didn't want him at the club. Um, at the moment, I'm just keeping my mouth shut. Um, you know, keeping my part dry, man. Because I don't really want it to come back and, and, um, and uh, bite me in my ass. So, for me right now, I'm not going to say anything negative about him. I'm just going to say, listen, I have trust in my manager and i have trust in the players that he picks and i'm hoping that he has a he has a good plan for uh kai Havertz when it comes to him playing in the squad now only time will tell what will happen in the future with kai Havertz. so we just have to wait and see right now and see what happens with kai Havertz because he could come in and he could go he could have an insane first season 
it all depends will the system suit him will it not we gotta wait and see see what happens but for now keep my powder dry i'm not really gonna bad mouth kai havertz because i already told you guys why i don't agree with the transfer previously or why i i don't think he's the right player but right now i'm just gonna go ahead and trust my manager and see what happens in the near future with this transfer story now seems like this video is just gonna be good news after good news after good news after good news now i'm just gonna show you this post right here which will bring a smile to so many people's faces over here now let's just have a read of this arsenal defender rob holding is in talks with besiktas over a possible loan deal the player is now weighing up his options after besiktas made their interest clear to his representatives now that was joe krishnan from the express as an exclusive that came out yesterday now listen with all due respect rob holding never been good for this club never been good enough to play at the club so respectfully you're gonna have to go my bro um appreciate you for all your time all your efforts whatever you've done at the club listen sometimes it's time to pack up and go and i'm so happy to see the back of him um you know during the last season uh, during last season you know i do feel like he still played a part in um in what happened to us when we when we capitulated in the end but the only reason why was because he wasn't able to hold that high line as we normally do arsenal were holding a very high line and it was very uh, everybody was in line and he just he always had to fall back but either way um I'm glad to see the back of him and I wish him nothing but success in his future endeavours at his future club and I hope that he has a very successful career in the near future. Now, moving on to the final bit of news here, which is Florent Balogun. Looks like he's searching for a new club. Um, he's rejected the chance to sign a new deal with us and possibly moving as a number two um, he just he wants first team minutes he wants to be a star he wants to be that first choice striker and unfortunately for him and unfortunately for us it's not gonna happen at arsenal it's not gonna happen we've got jesus we got um trossard who's able to take up that position as well martinelli who's also able to take up that position so for me it's just it's not gonna happen I don't think he can have a guaranteed spot as a starting striker at Arsenal. But plenty of clubs are coming in for him. Uh, I think Crystal Palace, West Ham, as we can see on the post that I've just put up here, looks like Crystal Palace, West Ham, Brentford, Fulham and Everton have all been placed on high alert with clubs across the continent also interested in the former Rams man. Now, listen, he's going to be very 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 hot property right now you need to get him a lot of clubs are going to be after him a lot of clubs are going to be trying to get him and this guy it should go for not no no less than at least 40 million to 45 million yeah if we can get more we can start a bidding war even better but i feel like this guy with the amount of goals that he scored last year for rams i feel like he can do a lot more than that with a decent club and yeah i just if, if we need to get if we need to sell him at least 45 to 50 million as well as 45 to 50 million for him we need to make sure we either do a sell-on clause or a buyback clause maybe even both because a buyback clause just in case he turns out to be the next great striker in in world football we need to make sure that we hold him holding a, uh, a deal to buy him back maybe a 30 mil uh, buyback clause or something like that so at least if he's if teams are looking at him to get him for like 120 mil or something crazy like that we can buy him for 30 mil we have first refusal and yeah listen if we can do that and we can sell him then great if we can't then it would be a bit of a it would be a bit of a disappointment 
but yeah so that's all the news for today guys thank you very much for tuning in today a lot of breaking news i cannot wait to see what's going to happen in the new season this transfer window has just moved so fast we've got plenty more news coming we're waiting on i'm waiting on some news coming out from jury and timber who's also looking to um, agree a deal which he's going to be signing hopefully i believe we'll be waiting for this rice deal to be over and done with so we can get all the other deals done and hopefully we're looking at more players I know we've brought in Kai Havertz, Julian Timber, hopefully in the near future, and we've now brought in Rice. But we need to go in for more players. We need to see if we can get more players. We need another midfielder, an experienced one, and maybe another midfielder who who maybe a, is a young midfielder. We need someone in the like an attacker sense, um, like a, a Javi Simmons. I'm hoping, and we also need another defender. I'm hoping. Obviously, I know we're getting Jurian Timber, but we can get another defender just to help out with, with the centre-back position um, after Saliba. I know that Ben White might slide into that spot, but obviously he'll be possibly um, a backup as well, or he'll be fighting for that position at right-back. So I'm hoping that we can get another centre-back to back up Saliba, who is at a decent level. But yeah, we still have a few transfers to go. But I'm so glad that my club is finally doing what I've asked to do for so many years, which is to get players in before the start of pre-season. So they get into that pre-season and they're training with the team. They're getting used to the team and they're getting used to the way we play. So when we go back into the Premier League, we're ready for them. So thank you very much for tuning in, guys. Thank you very much. I see you guys constantly liking the videos and I really appreciate it. So like I said before, make sure to like, share, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I make a video. And let me know what your thoughts are down below on the transfer window. Make sure to leave a comment because they're always very nice to read. And I always see people commenting, man. So thank you very much, guys, for tuning in. I love you. Come on you gunners, see you later.